What's up, everybody? D'Angelo here. Hope you guys are having a fantastic day. And I wanted to make this video on why your CPA offers aren't converting. So first things first, make sure you apply to the Oryx network because over here you don't have to worry about getting shaved and you don't have to worry about your account getting shut down for no reason or getting shut down because you won't give out your campaign information. In fact, affiliate managers won't even ask for it. So let's jump over here to the whiteboard, right? So one of the main reasons your ads won't convert or they're not converting is because you're getting shaved, right? So number one is being shaved. So if you're with Shea Bounty, stuff like that, this is like so natural, so normal. Like Shea Bounty shaved me out of thousands of dollars, stole thousands of dollars from me. And it's just like in the CPA marketing community, it's just so normal for these networks to steal money that it's just like, oh, okay. And I mean, there's nothing you can really do about it either. That's the crazy thing. Like, you know, they're stealing from you, but there is nothing you can do with it. It's just like something you have to put up with until you make enough money to get into a private network. But yeah, number one is just straightforward. You're getting shaved. It is what it is. Number two is, you know, it's actually one that a lot of people don't talk about. And that is where you promote. So let's say, for example, you're over here on the Eco Worker site here. As you can see, we uh, did a little search here, and there's three iPhone offers just on the front page alone, right? So just on the front page alone, there's three iPhone offers here. So let's say, person, you know, let's say the person who signed up to do the offers goes and does, you know, A, right? Offer A, and then offer A person gets paid. All right, so this person's happy, they just got paid or whatever. And then this person also goes, goes and does the same offer for person B, and person B doesn't make any money. But this person here just sent them payment proof, you know, because over here on the Pico Worker site, they actually have to send you proof. So they just sent you proof and confirmation, like, yeah, I did do it or whatnot, all that stuff. And now this person is, you know, confused and upset or whatever the case may be because, you know, they didn't get paid, but they have to pay this person here. Now, Common sense is going to tell you the advertiser is not going to pay you twice for this person right here. They already got this person. Why would they pay you twice? So they're not going to pay you and they're not going to pay person C either. So neither of these people here are going to get paid. And if they do get paid, normally just going to, the leads are just going to be reversed because this person is it's the same exact person. Would you pay for the same person's lead three times? No. Right. Especially when you don't have to. Like, obviously, if you're running on Facebook, you know, or Google or Bing or something like that, you really don't have any a choice. But on affiliate networks, you have a choice. Like you're you're not going to pay for the same lead repeatedly over and over and over. It, it just doesn't make any sense to do that. No one is going to do that. So, yeah, these people down here are going to be confused on why they aren't converting. They're thinking they're going to think the network is shaving them, which they most likely are. But it's not all about the shaving. You know, you can still make good money in these networks that shave you and stuff like that. You know, it's just that you just got to, you know, know your numbers. As long as you're making profit, I guess at the end of the day, it really doesn't matter, you know, but it is what it is, right? So yeah, if you are running on these type of places, you know, here, you, I mean, what do you expect? Like if you go to Pico Workers or whatnot and you expect, you know, to get a conversion every single time you get a confirmation, that's just stupid. I mean, come on now, like they're literally just on the front page, there's three of the iPhone offer. And we can go through and look and see, you know, how many um, McDonald's one there are, how many, uh, like look right here, look, there's two McDonald's ones right, just right here alone, same exact offer. You're not going to get paid every single time because you aren't the first person that, that, that put the offer up. Now, if you're the first person to put that offer up, then yeah, that's pretty smooth or whatnot. And then another thing on this site here is that this site for all you know, could be blacklisted. It could be um, you know, basically set up to where if any leads come from this website, they are instantly not converted. Like they will not convert because they consider this a low quality traffic site. So boom, just like that, all the stuff you put up here, you no, know, just wasted it. You know, now I'm not saying that's how it is for this website, but I'm saying that is possible that any offers that come from any conversions that come from a particular website that's blacklisted will not convert that simple. Right. So, yeah. That's one of the main things right there, you know, is that if you're using these type of offer, I mean, using these type of sites right here, don't expect to get every conversion. I mean, you got to use a little bit of common sense. People on here are just, you know, 
the same people over and over doing the same exact offers. They also could be from different countries using VPNs and, you know, proxies and stuff like that. And again, those might not convert either. So, I mean, like, you guys got to, again, use a little bit of common sense. You know, it's not going to convert like like that. It's just, it's just not. All right. So, let's see. What would number three be? Number three is tracking, right? So, if you're not using tracking software, you're just running blind, you know, on networks that you need to use traffic for, you know, like let's say Facebook, you should use traffic. I mean, I mean, you don't have to, you can, honestly, you can get away with not using uh, tracking for um, Facebook and stuff like that because you can test on such a small budget. But, you know, if you don't know why your ads are, conver are not converting, then I mean, that's the that's one of the main issues to find out why your ads not converting, right? And then, you know, you just have to run data I mean, run campaigns until you find a profitable campaign is that's literally the entire process. If you're running on Facebook or whatever network, you need to figure out what's working. Right. Are people between the ages of 25 and 30 working? Are people between the ages of 35 and, you know, 50 working? Are, you know, people who have the interest in cars working? Are people who have the behavior of spending money um online you know working like i mean all of these there are so many different variables and so you just gotta test it and see what happens you know but yeah i'm pretty much call it right there obviously i can go through and list a whole bunch of more stuff but the main stuff is you know where you promote obviously if you're promoting on a low quality traffic site then i mean what do you expect use a little bit of common sense if you're not tracking again what do you expect like track guys if you have the money get you a cheap um tracking software or something so you can start getting into the groove know your data stuff like that you know especially if you have the money for it there is no reason for you not to have one um and then shaving obviously there's nothing you can do about that but the but the last two here you can do you can change where you promote and you can choose whether or not to use tracking software again you guys can use link breaker it's not going to give you all the data in the world but it's going to be able to help you narrow it down even if it's just a little bit so that way it can point you in the right direction. But that's pretty much it. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and all that fun stuff. And if you got any questions, simply put them in the comment section down below.